Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and it's time for some more Airport CEO. So the last time we saw this game in the Geek of it, it was all very shiny and new. And we were playing it kind of for the first time, we were learning all the mechanics of it. And my plan was to have those first few videos as a sort of a first look slash learning curve kind of series for me. And then I was going to go away and uh, have a full proper go at it and build something big and amazing and automated and majestic. And then I looked online at what other people had built. And they'd built really, really amazing things that were bigger and more automated and more majestic than I could possibly ever hope to achieve. So I thought, do you know what I'll do instead? Let's do a little challenge run. Let's challenge ourselves. Let's push, push the boundaries a little bit. Get those boundaries, smash them out of the ballpark or, or, just, or just be out, just to get three strikes or something, I don't know. So I thought, Let's try and play Airport CEO on the extreme difficulty setting. Yes, we're going to do an extreme difficulty challenge for Airport CEO. So I thought you know, that that's going to be a bit different to just building what we like. We've actually got to kind of carefully plan things out and kind of earn money and eke out little bits of cash here and there where we can. Because the extreme difficulty preset, if you like, um, makes it very, very hard to start with. You don't hardly have any money. You have very minimal funds to begin with. So... Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's create a new airport. You will do. Yeah, you can be Jenny uh, Wickles. Jenny Wickles, lovely. And continue. Ah, now, yes, where to put our airport? I hadn't considered this. I'd forgotten this was a thing. Um, there's no kind of in-game benefit to where you put it. Like, if you put it in Europe, say, you don't get any more or less flights than if you put it in the middle of Greenland. I don't believe, anyway, not in the current version we're on. So it, I could literally put it anywhere. Do you know what I'll do? I'll shut my eyes and we'll spin around the world. Oh, hang on, I'm opening my eyes. Oh, I went over one of those ticker things. Today. Okay, right, I'm shutting my eyes again. Let's just zoom around the world. Let's pick a place. Right, my, I, promise, I promise you have my word, viewers. My eyes are firmly closed and we're going to go uh, and we're going to pick there. Just there. Oh, right, Greenland. <laughs> That's the C, that's the C, and a weird purple line for some reason, I don't know what that is. Country delineation or something, I don't know. Uh, right, let's, let's not go in the C. The C is probably a bad place to try and do an airport. Floating airports probably never work. Okay, right, my eyes are shut again now. So I'm zooming about the Earth. Uh, yeah, I'm going around the Earth still, hopefully. <laughs> I hope I'm going around the Earth. Right, I'm going to stop around here, and then I'm going to move the cursor around. So I think I'm moving it around the middle-ish, I hope. Flying the cursor around. Right, I'm going to move it slow. I'm going to move it to there. Just there. No, not there. There. No, I don't like it there. I, I, I really do have my eyes shut. There. I'm going to put it just there. Right the flip just there. I don't know where that is. Please be over land. Click. Uh, okay. Mountains. The Is that the Himalayas? That is the Himalayas. Now, I don't know where Mount Everest is. It's somewhere here. It's somewhere kind of on this border somewhere. I don't really know. It's probably along. I imagine it's there. That looks quite high up. But it's along this kind of bit here. So I guess Everest is over there. Okay, this is interesting. So I don't know what country that is either. Is that China? Have we just gone across the border from China? Kathmandu. I thought it was called Nepal. I thought that was Nepal. Okay. I don't know. Whatever. So we're over there. We're in the kind of Asian subcontinent, if you like. That's what that is, isn't it? And, yeah, we're just there. So I don't know what kind of country that is. I think it is China, just. And, uh, yeah, near absolutely nothing. So, you know, the prime place of Nepal, near a great big crack in a mountain. Splendid. Now, look, uh, on this, look, when I settled my previous airport, when I uh, founded it in lovely, flat, middle England, it was green. It was green and flat, lots of trees. I imagine, even though this place is clearly on the flipping mountain and it's covered in snow, it's going to be flat and covered in trees and very green. I imagine that's what's going to happen. Um, yeah, okay, that'll do. It's as good as anywhere else. Confirm airport location. Uh, airport name. Well, we're near Everest. Let's call it Everest in... Oh, not on international. That's, that's not a word. International Airport. Because now it can have E-I-A. Uh, logo. Not that one, not that one, not that one. That one. That That is spot. That is perfect. That is perfect. And there it is. Okay, beautiful. We'll take that. And um, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want this. We want this. The extreme management mode. So it says, it says, somewhat disconcertingly, don't even bother. This is the worst job you'll ever have. Now, given that some people have jobs, uh, I don't know, disposing of, say, diseased animal carcasses. 
or dealing with raw sewage. That's quite a claim to make just there, isn't it? That's an exciting claim. Um, I'm going to start with a horrible $250,000 in cash. The $250,000 I've got is horrible. Perhaps it's been falling in the raw sewage that was previously mentioned. I don't know. So a quarter of a million dollars. So that's where the challenge is. I don't think anything else is more difficult. I simply think it's just the starting money. At this moment in time, I think the starting money is the challenge. So with that in mind, let's get on with it. Let's launch and just see what's going on. And I will talk about the kind of rules of the challenge, if you like, about what I want to get out of this. So obviously I've got a quarter of a million dollars. Right, just pause it before it starts. Yeah, letter, blah, blah, blah. I do like it's from Gregor Fonsworth, even though we're in wherever we are, China or whatever, that kind of, you know, Asia. Gregor Fonsworth is still the mayor of this particular place. It's not a colony anymore, Gregor. You need to go home. That's all, that's all finished. The empire is gone. Move on. Got it. Thank you. And yes, indeed, that thing. So I think what I would deem a successful completion of this challenge would be if I was able to get an airport, no matter how big, an airport that could successfully run commercial flights. Let's say we need to complete a commercial contract with medium, so a medium-sized airline contract. So it's going to have at least medium stands for the planes. We're going to have to have check-in and uh, baggage. I want baggage kind of handy on there. We want the security bit. We want uh, some departure lounge bit, bathrooms, shops, restaurant, that kind of thing, a little cafe thing. We want the full thing. Nothing dramatic, nothing massive and ridiculous. We don't want anything to be utterly, you know, all singing, all dancing, literally every single feature unlocked. As long as we can get a contract completed that has medium flights and we successfully complete the contract, I will deem that a successful challenge. However, as you can see from up here, we don't have a lot of money. That might look like a lot of money initially. You might go, ah, quarter of a million dollars. The, um, the runway, which is in... It's not in there. No, it's it's in the button with the runway on it. <laughs> Good Lord, Pench, come on, man. Pull yourself together. The um, the runway is $100,000. So I, I believe to run an airport, I have to have a runway. I think that's kind of key. So really, I've got $150,000 to play with. That's all. It's not very much. It's not very much at all. And you might think, that's ah, loads. But no. So this might be quite a slow burning challenge. I think at some point it will explode and we'll get there. But um, I think to start with, it's going to be quite hard graft to get some money in. So we're going to go down the general aviation route. Because there's simply not enough money to build a commercial airport with that money there. That's not enough. That's not enough money to build the buildings and the check-in desks and stands and everything else. It's just it's just too small of an amount of cash. I don't think it's worth it. So we're going to try and get ourselves a fully functional general aviation kind of bit over here. So the east, the east side of the road, of the incoming road, can be general aviation, about where all the planes are going to come in. And they basically, general aviation, I didn't know this before, they literally fly their little plane in, they park in the stand, they sit there for... Uh, some time. I don't know what they do in there. Do they have a sleep in their planes or what? I don't know. Uh, they must have toilets on the plane because they certainly don't get out and use any of mine unless they go out up a tree. And then um, and they get in their plane and they go away. And we get money for them waiting in the little bay, in the, in the um, whatever it's called, stand. And we get money for them using the runway to both take off and land. So we'll get paid. So what we need to do is we need to build a fairly, a fairly substantial kind of grid, if you like, of of that, of that whole structure of how that's going to work. So what I'm thinking is, this 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 is my plan. We need to get a runway. So why don't we just, cannot, play, cannot place a structure without a delivery site? I have a delivery site. Oh, maybe because I've not moved time on quite enough for it to acknowledge that, okay, I have, I do have a delivery site. It's just there. You cannot place a structure without a delivery site. Okay, well, let's let's hurry time on. There we go. What about now? Can I place structures now? Because that's going to kind of ruin the challenge if I can't place anything. There we go. So what I'm thinking is, we have the runway, and we have it kind of surrounded by, it's very hard to describe, kind of like arms, if you like. <laughs> like arms that come out and have stands on either side. So I don't think we, we can't really have thousands and thousands of stands. We don't need loads, but we need a, we need enough to make it sort of work. So I was thinking, if we try and put the runway there, now ideally you'd want another runway next to it to have like arrivals and departures. That would be very cool. But if we put a runway there, now the advantage of this is we're paused. We're in paused mode, which means that we can build stuff, 
And because it gets blueprinted, if we've done it wrong, we demolish it, it hasn't actually cost us any money. So at the moment, we're going to sort of try and work out what we can build. And then once we're sure and happy with what we've got, we will then be able to actually go forth and build this thing. So I think the runway, if we put it three up from the bottom. So one, two, three from the bottom, like that. Well, that's a good start. Then we want grass taxiway foundation because it's half the price because money is going to be absolutely key in this. We're, we're going to have hardly any money to do anything at all. It's going to be very, very difficult. So, yeah, already look, 23 and a half grass. So we've spent, I don't know, 100, 123. So we're probably at half money from building that. That has left us 50% of our cash is now gone. It's gone just from building a runway and some stuff that then the planes could taxi along on, which is yeah, going to make things tricky. Now, I, I was planning this out. I've not actually played this. I've not done this properly. But what I have done is I have um, kind of looked at what I could do and what things were possible and what weren't on one of the sort of training levels, one of the tutorial video levels I had. I just sort of had a little mucking about bit on it. And um, I realised that you can't have... So the planes go along taxiways... That's absolutely fine. They trundle along these taxiways. It's lovely. The taxiways and the service roads cannot cross over. So it looks like you can. When you when you draw the lines across it, when they, you are allowed to cross a service road over a taxiway. But then in practice, they, they can't get through. So vehicle service vehicles like the fuel trucks can't cross over taxiways. Unless I'm mistaken, in which case, please correct me. Uh, and we'll come to something a bit about that later, actually. There's something that's quite relevant about that with your comments stuff later. But let's get this all sorted first. So we're going to have to kind of work out a way where the service roads can go across the top and indeed the bottom of it. Ah, now already I've messed up there because we don't want that just there. We want a service road underneath that as well. So let's get rid of that. See, we're learning. Okay. So my plan is the service roads are going to go across the top and the bottom of this arrangement. So really, we're going to need that to be three off the bottom, five, preferably maybe even six across the from the bottom of the thing. So if we put that there, so one, two, three, four, five, six, say there, like that. Now is that going to be enough or do I need to move it up another one as well? So that's going to be three going out like that. So I want the taxiways to be three wide. So that's four white. Okay, no, so we've got an extra bit. So that's fine. Yeah, we can trim that off. That's fine. It's all free. It's all absolutely fine at the moment. And then we want that to go all the way up to here. Diddly diddly do, like we did before, like that, and over to there. There we go. Splendid. So that's like that. And then we want service roads to be able to come down and go underneath and from here. So what we're going to need to do first is, rather than having any extra road, let's literally slap a vehicle checkpoint straight in. Just there. Vehicle checkpoint. Splendid. Then we're going to get the grass <laughs> the grass service road, which I'm sure will be really, really comfortable and lovely. We'll put that there. So cars and trucks and whatever can come in and the oil tankers and whatever can come in. We'll also have a bit going up there. So all our oil depots and stuff can go across this path here. And then we're going to have, in the middle of here, we're going to have... This might be the, the worst way in the world to do this, but I don't know any other way to do it. Taxiway Foundation, if I can get to it. Kind of in the middle. Where's the mid... Can, is there a way to delineate the middle of the... That looks like the middle to me. So let's do that look. Across to, say, there for now. And then we're going to see how many of these stands we can fit in. So small stands. Grass, because they're a third the cost of the other ones. So they're $20,000 rather than 60000 for the other ones. So let's see how many of these we could fit in plausibly off the side of the taxiway. If we have it going, say, from the middle. Yeah, well, I think we've gone too far over to the left. We need to move this whole shebang over to the right, I suspect. Yeah, I think we need to shift it all over a bit. My plan is to have kind of an arm going up like, say, let's just put it on anyway. Like kind of that there and then have stands. So one on this side, going to there, and one on that side, like that. And then build the arms. In fact, would that work? Oh, that's really irritating. We need to move it over by one. I know we don't, because that doesn't have to be just there. That could be just, say, there. So again, it's quite nice that we've got this ability to just kind of build stuff as we like. So um, 
yeah, if we put that there, look, that there, chop out this, chop chop that bit out like that, have the taxiway foundation going up there, so three like that, say, for now, and then have another small stand opposite, da -da -da, like so, so there, like that, and then the service roads can go up, so service roads, because they have a bit like that, they can link together like that, yes, and that can go all the way to the bottom to service the roads at the bottom as well. So we'll have this other arm coming down here. So the idea would be that we have the taxiway foundation all the way up to the top, like that. And then on either side we go stand, 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 stand. Lots of stands either side. Brilliant. Planes come in, they land, yeah, landy land. Turn round, go up, go along this bit to the middle, go right, right, okay, yep, yeah, and get to this bit and kind of go, ah, right, I'm, I've got to turn right and I'm the third one on the right or whatever. So they go right, go one, two, three, pull in. That's where they stay for the night. That's where they do whatever it is they do on their private plane because they're bloody rich and they've got their own little plane. Good for them. I'm not jealous in any way at all. Give me my plane. So, and then they can then bugger off. They get out. They go, all oh, right, let's go back here. We and take off again. And that's fine. That's absolutely splendid. The service vehicles, let's say the, if we, eventually, when we get refueling in, which will take bloody ages because we've got to do loads of these stands first. But when we get there, eventually, what we'll have is the oil tanker thing, say, here, and then we'll be able to go, right, okay, the oil tankers are here, let's drive this way, brum, 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 go along here. If it's here, if it's any of the stands on this side, we'll be able to go, oh, good, okay, yep, yeah, there we go, we're going straight in, lovely. If it's across the top, we'll have to go, right, run the service road all the way along the back of these small stands, across the top, and then down this side, and they'll be able to meet this bit and go down here, and these small stands here will have the option to have the fuel truck because the service road will be able to reach them this side. Does that make sense? It's quite hard to describe without it actually being put into practice, I think. It's very difficult. But for now, let's just cut out what we can't have because there's no point having all that stuff in. Uh, in fact, yeah, we'll need that. Let's leave that to uh, there. So let's take that one out for now. We're going to build up this left-hand side. So let's get a small stand... I think we can have two of these probably to begin with, like that. So let's go for that option, and then let's see if that's doable. Yeah, we don't want that just there just yet. So can we make that work? So then they will be going all the way down as well. So small stands. Sm oh no, I'm able to put them there. Ah, right. I don't want those small stands right there, because the service row can be just here. Right. Hang on. Yes. Okay. That's absolutely fine. We'll have that in the middle. We'll take out, uh, not that though, no, yeah, like that, look, there, splendid. Small stand, small stand, there, good. So that's going to be the taxiway bit in the middle. So is it going to be to there? Yeah, so I've, can, yeah, that taxiway bit's slightly misleading. Let's get rid of that bit there, splendid. So it's going to be like that. So we're going to have a small stand, another, uh, apologies by the way if you can hear the wind. There is a store, as I record this, there is a storm. A super storm, the remnants of a hurricane hit in the UK. Stuff like this doesn't happen in the UK. We don't have exciting weather. It's always quite bland. So, um, this, this is quite exciting, but it's very windy. But I have to have the window open in the gig cover, or else I will melt into a puddle of goo. And that's not pleasant for anybody to see. So, um, yeah, apologies if you can hear lots of wind noise, but I have to have the window open. Hopefully the um, noise will cut itself out quite a bit. Oh, a leaf just came through my window. <laughs> there we go. Autumn leaves. So, yeah, we're going to have to have stuff like that. And then bring it down instead. And then we can start from there. So the taxiway foundation can come down. And let's get... I wonder if we can have three stands to start with. I wonder if we can properly push that boat out. And have three stands to begin with. So like that look. So the service road kind of cuts across the back of these three stands. And then when we get to it we can then put the small stands on the other side. Just to check they still fit. Yep they still fit. And when we've got it all sorted, the access road will go to the bottom and they'll be able to get access to the fuel trucks and stuff via a kind of a slightly circuitous route, but like that. Oh, one thing we do need, we do want a service road again to go up this way, is um, all our stuff, our uh, fuel trucks and fuel bays and stuff can go along here. But more importantly, what's it called? The tower, that one. The air traffic control tower, that's what we're going to need. So let's put that there. So that means that the service road can also come out that way. So when the commercial big airport's in, then these 
the, they can have a service road going out that way as well. So we have one checkpoint servicing lots of stuff. So I think that's what we want to do right now. Now, is that is that even feasible? I don't know. Let's not build that because we don't need it. That's about $400 worth of it was saved. I, I think that looks pretty good to me. I think that looks good. I mean, whether it is good, I don't know. It's probably absolutely bloody terrible. But the idea is, yeah, to have a big arm down here with stands on either side. A big arm going up there with stands on either side. And if it comes to it, we could then put another runway in and kind of flip this, sort of horizontally flip that across the other way and kind of have a similar arrangement on that side and have one runway as a departure runway and another runway as the arrivals runway. That might make sense. Okay, we need to put this into practice. We need to see how much money we haven't got. Because I don't know if we can afford all that. So now we need to speed Tom. Now what we do want to do is... The little trucks will appear, driving in. But we want to sign a building contract. Now this building contract here... More leaves are coming in through the window. Hang on, I'm going to have to shut the window. It is blowing a, it is blowing everything everywhere. There we go. The geek cupboard is secure once more, if, if slightly warm. Um... HWY are the first ones you get, and I think about 9 o'clock-ish. There we go. Brickly appear. Let's just take a look at these two contracts. HWY. So when you start, they're the only ones you get. So you might think, oh, well, I need to do some building. I'll sign a contract with those guys. They can give you 72 maximum contractors, and the hourly fee is $7.70, which you think, yeah, okay. But then Brickly appear kind of about an hour later into the game. I don't quite know why they don't appear at the start. They can give you 93 contractors at an hourly fee of $6.40. So they're $1.30 cheaper, which is pretty impressive, really. So we're going to sign those because they can give you more of them for less. For less money, which is tremendous news. So now we need to get operations and construction. Uh, yeah, we don't want loads because money is an absolute premium. Money is a premium. So let's just get, let's get 30. 30 contractors... To start building some of this stuff up. So here they go. They arrive in their little yellow school bus. Right, all the boxes are here, I believe. All the stuff that needs to be built is here. We just need to... Do you know what? Do you know what? While we're here, deploy all the contractors. Let's just get everything built as soon as we can. So there we go. In come a load of contractors. <sighs> Hordes of them streaming in. Loads of them. And as soon as all this stuff is built, because there's quite a lot. This, this big taxiway bit is huge. That'll take quite a long time. So while they're doing that, let us now do the taxiway nodes. Now in the last version I played, so this is version 0.22.1 version fans. Write it down in your version books. Uh, the, the runway didn't have the nodes down the middle of it, but I think in the recent upgrade, they've now made that happen, which is lovely because that actually helps quite a lot. So you can see what's going on. Extra node there. Never mind. So now we want the nodes to come through the middle of our bit here. So a taxiway node going through the middle and then down the arm and then across to there, that one across to there, that one across to there. That can now be set to general aviation and open. Beautiful. General aviation open. Right, pause, 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 pause. Have they done everything? Yeah, okay, fine. Right, we don't need all these contractors all of a sudden. So let's dismiss. How many have we got? 30. Deploy contractors. 30. I thought I deployed them all. Hang on, what? Let's move time on a bit. 93, that's better. It lied to me. The screen lied. How dare you. Right, let's dismiss, I don't know, 60 contractors? Uh, no, let's dismiss 70 contractors. We don't need that many to build these road bits now. That's absolutely fine. So we've got stuff to do. So that there, general aviation, open the stand. And the runway can be open for just general aviation. Open the runway. Okay, now there is an option somewhere. Operations overview always accepts general aviation. Splendid, that's very cool. We like that. And I think once they've got that done, that is it for now. Now, we do have 36 grand left, so we could, once that's complete, bish bash and bosh, pause it, we could put another one of these in. We could put another one of these in. Now, I'm hoping, I really hope, that that road bit works. I really hope that like fuel trucks and things can come in here and go onto there and then join this road here. I really hope that functions. If not, it's going to throw the whole thing into chaos. We'll have to do things slightly differently. We'll basically have to have a road going up to the top, connecting everything at the top as well, which we'll probably end up getting eventually, but not for a little while. It's quite a long way to up there, or indeed down the bottom of there. So um, 
yeah, we'll have to... Well, I just hope that works. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it'll work. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Do you know one thing I was wondering? Was the little gatehouse here. I would have expected the gatehouse to be on this side. Because this is the side we're driving on. We're on the right. I mean, obviously, I'm from the UK. We drive on the left. But I imagine this game is reflecting most of the rest of the world. Where a lot of other people drive on the right. So you're going to drive on the right-hand side. Come in. Stop here. Your guy in your gatehouse is going to say, can I see your papers, please? Or can I see some ID? He's all the way over there on the other side of the road. So, I mean, he's checking the people that are leaving. Sure, the people that are leaving are fine. It's the people that are coming in that are going to be the issue, I would have thought. But, um, no. It, it, I, yeah, I just would have put that on the other side, nearer to the incoming traffic rather than the outbound traffic. But there you go. Bit of an afterthought for you there. So, we can put in one more stand. So, let's drop in another stand up there shall we why the heck not let's get another stand in uh, if we press the right button that would help so let's get ourselves another grass stand let's put the grass stand just there uh, and we need another bit of taxiway going up to it so taxiway foundation so this is the upwards bit i believe yep so it's going to be like that and then the node bit needs to come in and go through the middle and then connect to just there and then we should... Oh, no, we need holding points as well, don't we? We should be able to speed time on and get that built. So a lot of our contractors are going to bugger off home. But some of them are going to then put together these bits, which is jolly exciting. Right, we need um, little holding point things. Oh, God, how did I do this before? Uh, there, set holding point. Uh, oh, it's it's like a, it's like lines. It's not like a red thing anymore. Okay, and can we do some up there as well? Set holding point and... There was one kind of in front of it. Set holding point. Is that what I did for the other one? More or less. More or less. That's absolutely fine. Hang on. That's the wrong way round, isn't it? How do I rotate that? Set out. Do I rotate it now? Set regular node. Set holding point. Ah, there you go. Look, yeah, the line goes kind of the right way round now. I think... Oh, no, that's not the right way round either. Set regular. Set holding point. Yes, beautiful. There we go. I think that's right. Looks like the line now leads onto the runway. Oh, we'll find out when it all goes horribly wrong. Right, okay. Do the small snap. Right, pause. General Aviation, open the stand. Four stands. I didn't think we'd be able to have that much to start with. That's quite cool. So I think now we dismiss the builder dudes. Go away, builder folks. We don't need those guys anymore. So that saves us some money. And now, can we just open it up to General Aviation if we pause it for a sec? Uh, do we just need to open the airport now? Operations, overview. It's always accepting General Aviation. Airport open. Okay, so now let's just see if this works. So what stupid things have I got? There's a plane coming in. There's a plane coming in. Let's just clear this stuff. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> There's a plane coming in and it's jolly excited. Two planes. Two planes coming in. Okay, so I pay $400 to use the runway. $25 to simply wait there, which is jolly exciting. Right, and look, yeah, it works. They wait. They sort of queue up and quite patiently wait and stuff. It seems to be a, a good a good mechanism. Now, when there's loads and loads of people around, I don't know how that's going to work. Is, is it going to cause queues? Is it going to cause traffic carnage? I really don't know. But that, for now, seems to be doing all right. We're actually making money, look. It's making actual cash. Oh, this is beautiful. This is tremendous. Are we going to keep repairing that runway? Oh my goodness, it's at 90% already. Well, let's repair the runway. I don't know what happens if the runway condition gets down to zero. I assume the runway just shuts. I assume it just it, it cannot function anymore and you can't do anything with it. Right, we're losing quite a bit of money per hour, which is a shame. 300 something dollars. Why are we losing that much money per hour then? That's intriguing. Oh no, now we're making money per hour. Uh, oh, as the hour goes along, it tells us what we're making per... Ah, right, okay, so halfway through an hour, so we're going to make about 200 and something an hour overnight. Now, there is a... Fast forward there. Fast forward to the next day. When there's no planes moving about, you can fast forward to 4 o'clock, and this is a perfect situation. Ah, now, interestingly, I can't do anything else. I can't move around the screen. I can't change anything. Oh, actually, I can change tarmac lights. Okay, let's not do that. Tarmac, tarmac lights off at 7, tarmac lights on at 6. Uh, yeah, I can't move the... I can't... Oh, okay, I'll be quiet then. I, I, I can now move things around. I thought I couldn't move anything, but there we go. So we've now got 20,000... Ooh, and one dollars. We could... We can't attach it to anything at the minute. We can't need about 21 grand. We could build another one of the stands. 
that would be quite cool if we could get another stand in. That would help quite a lot. So the plan is, we're just going to have to sit and build a massive load of the stands. We're going to have to build this column of stands here, going all the way from the top of the runway, all the way down to there. Now, I don't know how many that's going to be. That's about four, what, another four down there. So eight, maybe another one, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. Maybe about 17 or 18 stands in that one column just there. I think ish. So there we go. Bye bye. Bye bye, Mr. Person in a plane. Just do the holding points work? It seems they work. And he's gone and he's given me some money. Right. How much do they ruin it by? So condition. So one. Did a flight just come in just then? Did a flight just come in? Yes. So one flight onto a grass runway causes one point of condition loss which costs what does it cost right repair the runway what does it cost one person 59 dollars per use of the runway i've then got to use to repair it so they're paying 400 so really i'm getting 341 quid each time someone uses the runway because i have to then repair the runway because it's made it's made of grass <laughs> that's probably not a good thing uh yeah Maybe we'll try and sort that out. Maybe we'll have to upgrade that at some other point. I don't know. Right, let's get another stand in. While we're here, let's just slow time down. Let's get another stand in place, a small stand like that. Let's just put it just there. And then let's get the taxiway foundation and hike that down to just there, like that. Taxiway nodes, let's node it up. So like that. In fact, we might as well put that going down to there while we're there for the sake of it. Can we put taxiway nodes where there isn't taxiway? Oh, we can. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Bit weird, but okie doke. Right. That's all connected up. We need some builders to actually come and do some building. So I don't think we need many. Five. Five will do. There's no rush. There's no rush on this. We just need it to get done. So the truckers up here to give us all the stuff. And out come the five little dudes. Right. Okay. So they're scurrying along. They're building the stand first. Good job, folks. Good job. Yeah. Oh, look. This guy must be a supervisor of some sort. He hasn't got a box. He didn't have a box, I don't think. Alessandro Ferrari. Yes. Good job. Good job, Alessandro Ferrari. Okay. And then they scurry out these bits. Right. Okay. Let's switch that on. General Aviation. Open stand. Now, when they finish this, we should be able to have another plane in. And I think that's how we're going to have to do this early bit of the game. We're just going to have to wait until we get 20 grand. As soon as we've got 20 grand plus a little bit more, say 22, 23 grand, to build the extra bit of the taxiway... We are then just going to have to... Oh, he's literally come in and gone over the unfinished taxiway. I suppose they are small planes. I guess I could just do whatever. They flip him on like. Um, build. Just keep building another stand. As soon as we have another 20 grand, build another stand. Another 20 grand, build another stand. Because they'll all fill up. They'll all fill up eventually. And that'll be rather cool, won't it? So what do they pay? 25 quid per what? 25 quid per... It looks like 25 quid every... 15 minutes so 100 quid an hour that would make sense is there a bit where you can find out economy is there a bit where you can find out where that is budget possibly fees there we go a cfo is required to modify fees hire one by the boards panel okay so we can't change any of these ah there we go the light aircraft landing fee is 400 dollars so if we had a cfo we could change that i think a cfo might be slightly ambitious at the moment um and small stand parking is $100. I guess these are per hour. I guess these are per hour fees. So yes, we'd have $100 an hour for that. So if we could just, even if we up that a tiny bit, we could make quite a lot of money. If we up to, say, $120 an hour, we'd get ourselves an extra, yeah, I mean, that's what, twenty, forty, six, hundred dollars $100 an hour extra just from our five stands. And overnight, if that's there for 10 hours, that's an extra thousand quid, dollars, whatever. So... Yeah, do we want to get a CFO? Not now. I don't think we can afford a CFO now. I think because they want lots of money. They'll have a wage. We can't really afford a wage because that's not the sort of thing we have. One thing I am interested in is who's manning the control tower? Because I haven't employed any staff. Who's in there? Who makes that work? <laughs> There's a control tower, which is clearly controlling stuff. Who Who's in there? Who's driving? Who's who's pressing the buttons? It's bloody robots, is it? Robots. Bloody robots. Okay, let's repair the... Oh, my God. That's very expensive. Oh, dearie me. Okay, fine. Yep, let's repair that. And it's getting toward the end of the day again. This flight's going to go. That's good. It gives me 400 more dollars. Thank you very much. Oh, another one coming in. That's another 400. So that's 800 dollars. Minus about 100 dollars to repair the thing, which is a bit annoying. Yet at some point, 
some point in the future, I'm going to have to prepare to upgrade to that, aren't I? To asphalt, asphalt. Because that's very expensive to keep maintaining. If I have to keep paying every... So like that can have a hundred trips, essentially. A hundred flights can come in. If I don't repair it, I guess it then goes bust. It, goes, it breaks. And then you can't actually use the runway, which is intriguing. But I don't know. So yeah, I think at some point we do need to upgrade that to a proper runway. But for now, I think we can leave it as it is. Okay. I think that, that's gone okay. Let's just speed forward to the next day, if we can do it. We haven't got any contractors on, have we? Yes, we have. Dismiss. Bugger off, contractors. Go away. I don't need you guys. I'm paying you money. You don't need to be here. You only need to be here when I need to build a thing. So let's let those guys go home first. We the big yellow school bus. Yep, and away they go. I don't think we need the second bus. Right, fast forward to the next day. And we can come out of that. No, listen, now I can't get out. I can't get out of the, that screen. I can't I can't tab. I can't do anything. So I don't know how I did it last time. I'm clearly just very, very magical. I'm a magical man. Um, no, I can't do anything. So I think that's gone okay. For our first, uh, first sort of attempt at this, I think it's gone okay. I hope you can all see my plan of what I actually want from this particular side of the airport. I hope it kind of makes sense that we have this bit kind of coming down this arm and then have the different things on each side going tick, 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 tick. And then up this side as well, so both sides. And then the service roads go across the end of the sort of row of vehicles, the row of vehicles, the row of stands. And then that means they can be connected on this side as well, which is very cool. Because otherwise you can't get a service truck to these, uh, the stands that are on this side. Which would be stupid because then they can't refuel. And the aim eventually is to have a refueling service. Because as well as it being cool and making money, I imagine it is a draw to your airport. If you have a refueling service, people will think, ah... I can go to Everest International and refuel. Brilliant. Instead of avoiding it because they need, you know, they're running low on fuel and they go somewhere else. So that's the plan. I hope it makes sense. It probably doesn't. But yeah, I think that's gone okay. That's gone okay. Next time out, I think we're just going to have to just keep building. We're going to have to expand. It might be a bit slow going, but we're just going to have to keep expanding and doing what we can. So if you've enjoyed this, <laughs> if you've enjoyed this display of ineptitude of building an airport and dithering, which maybe someone has, then um, yes, please do leave a like. And if you want to subscribe to keep up to date with this level of dithering, then please do hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. He's gone down the lifts, even though they're not built. The lifts aren't finished. People, people, this is very dangerous. Martin said it's fine and gave me a negative review. You silly man, Martin. You've clicked the wrong button. It looked like he had no trousers on, which was a little bit strange. Oh, Linda, with your gleaming golden words of appreciation. Linda says, eh, okay, hotel. <laughs>